How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. If it's the first time seeing me on this channel, my name is Charles Sentry, I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about farming. So here on this channel, we do share, we do talk about farming in Ghana, share knowledge about farming. So you who are interested in farming, who are yet to start any agricultural investment, because of getting involved in it. And those in the diaspora too, who are looking forward to doing something back on the continent, can get to learn about various forms of agricultural investment here in Ghana. So yeah, in today's video, we are here to look at the effects of inbreeding in a gas cutter farm. I believe you guys have been enjoying the previous videos on gas cutter farming that I've been uploading. And in today's video, we are here to learn about the effects of inbreeding on gas cutter farm. So we are still on uh, Mr. Dominic's farm. He is here to teach us about the effects of inbreeding when it comes to gas cutter farming. And this can be applied to any other farming, uh, other, other animal husbandry that you do. Before we get into the video, kindly hit the red button to subscribe, put your notification on to get regular updates as and when I drop a new video. And please drop a thumbs up onto the video so YouTube gets to promote it to other viewers. Without much ado, let's get right into the video. Who's that has given me Let them see some of the babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before you, yeah. let's, let's have yeah. a look at it. Yeah. Those are uh, uh, let's start from here. Some has been a lot of animals have been made. I think I have to put in some much lighter. Yes. This is uh, crossbreeding. You can see that this is a black. I, I, I seen it. This is a black grass cutter, a normal color, but it has given birth to white. Yes, because, because this one is a half cast. It has given birth to white, and then the normal color. So this is a crossbreeding. Okay. Uh, this is another one also here. This one too is a black color. Uh, this one too is a black color, but it has given birth to white. This cross breeding. Because the mother is a half caste. The mother is. Uh, the, this mother is having a white father. No, okay. The father of this one is white. So there is. So, that you could yes, yes, so there is a white in the DNA. So I use white again to cross it and I get this one. Okay. Yeah. So that is it. If you come, there are no, so many things we are going to learn. Wow. Oh, 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 very good. It's good. This is one thing that we have to learn right now. You know, this is this a, a premature. This thing happened because the uh, the mother was not six men. That was what I was talking about. The patients. The mother was not six men before it has been crossed because I didn't separate them quickly. Mm. I didn't separate them. When you came, I was telling some this animal has to give birth today. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so I was checking them to see those who give birth today. This animal was not six men before I cross it. It was four, four men and they were together before I realized the brother has crossed it. So it is already inbreeding. Ah. So I was praying that this baby should survive. And you see, it has given birth all right, but all the babies have died. That is inbreeding. So it is very, very important that we avoid inbreeding in our farm. You don't have to use a mother to, uh, a, a brother to cross a sister. Or a father to cross. Yes, this oh, embryo. Yes. Oh. You see? So it's very good that. Yeah. When I, it, it just gives birth to. Yeah, when you, fresh, when you yeah. came, I checked, it didn't give birth. And I was telling you, this animal is supposed to give birth today. Because I know that today it's supposed to give birth. This one and this one. You see? So this one has given birth and the babies are there. You can see this one. The two supposed because these two have been crossed on the same day. You see, this one has given birth. You see that the, the, the babies are very nice and healthy. You can see these animals have just been given just today. The one thing you said, when they give birth, they are very active. They are, yeah, they are very, yes. They are no, 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 no. The moment they give birth, you see, the babies are nice and strong. You can see. Yeah, the babies are very nice and then they are strong. Very, yeah. So we have to avoid inbreeding. I think another time we'll talk about those inbreeding and things. Yeah, because yeah. if you use a, a brother to cross a, a sister, this is what happened. And sometimes if the animal is not mature and you force to cross it, that was what I was talking about patience. If you didn't have the patience, you say, oh, the animal is forming. This animal was forming and it came on heat. I didn't separate them. That is why now the if you come, crossed. yes, the brother just crossed it. Mm. So even though it was pregnant, but the five men has been wasted. Like we had uh, that patience, and if you to, give, yeah, like we we'll not lose this. Birth to five too. Yeah, you give birth to five. You see, that is when now the moment we, they give birth to them, I separate them. All these ones here, they are male. Now I separate them. I don't miss the male and the female. These ones are male, and the females are here. You can see. So now the moment I win them, 
when I'm weaning them from the mothers, I separate them. I don't let the females stay with the males because they can cross each other. They can cross each other the moment <laughs> the, the female is on heat. The brothers can just cross it. It will be pregnant, all right, but you can lose the babies, the like what, what we have seen right now. So it's good that uh, we have come to see this thing and my viewers should also learn from it that okay. if you make that mistake, that thing can happen to you. Okay. okay. So let's, let's end this one again. We'll do five things that you tell me. Hello? So, um, how to so we've come to yeah. the end of the video. Uh, I guess you guys learned a lot. What Mr. Adamari was able to share with us. There are a lot of information, but I will take time and go through it step by step so we can all learn about it. Because the information is a lot. And I don't want the video to also prolong that long. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Kindly hit on the red button to subscribe. Put your notification on to get a glad because I'm going to drop a new video. And please, I like it. The video is very important. Like it and let me know your feedback. Also, comment so I know what you think of the videos, what you want to know, what you want to learn about it. So, yeah, thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. Peace out.